I recently shared a video all about our journey to slow living, simple living, um, decluttering, and just beginning this journey to have less and um, maybe a, a more minimalist lifestyle. And that's what I wanna continue today. So I wanna share with you 17 things that are on my list because yes, I have made a list and things keep popping into my head. So this will be an ever growing list and I wanna share it with you because I find it interesting that sometimes things can creep up in unsuspecting places. Clutter has a way of finding a home in any and every space that we allow it to and sometimes unsuspecting places. I'm finding this journey to be very contagious and contagious in the sense of wanting to continue this journey. It's like a hunger that is burning inside. Like I'm, I'm ready to go to the next area of my home. I'm ready to declutter the next space. Find myself being very encouraged and motivated. Maybe motivated is the better word. It's very motivating um, and fulfilling to complete a project and to see that end result and then to keep up on it so that it's actually not something that becomes a daunting task to do. It's probably my problem is that some of these things go untouched for a while, clearly, as I will discuss with you here in a moment. Some of the things go untouched for a while, so it can be an incredibly daunting task to even think about wanting to touch a certain area or space in your home to declutter it and to begin that journey towards living with less. And so I just find it very encouraging for myself as I complete one project, I feel encouraged and inspired to move on to the next. I feel motivated. I feel like that's where that word contagious comes in. Like, okay, this is, I want this. I want more of this. So more of this free space, more of this air, more of this organization. I'm not a nor, I am not an organized person by nature. Just going to lay that out there. So this is not my personality type. It doesn't come natural for me but I'm ready for it. I'm ready for less stuff because I feel like if I have less stuff, I don't have to be as organized. Does that make sense? Like for me, the organization comes because there's too much stuff. That's how my mind processes it. I need to organize it because I have too much. If I don't have as much, I don't need to have everything organized and labeled in my mind. That's, that's how my brain works. Everything has a home because there's space for it to have a home. When there's too much stuff, that's when all the bins come in and that's when the labels and the totes and all that come into play for me and my mind and my home because there's too much. If I don't have as much stuff, then I don't need all those extra things because everything has a place and a home. So this is where I'm going to start. This is kind of my running tally, uh, my notebook with all my thoughts and ideas, 17 things that I'm going to declutter for a more simple life. These are areas and avenues that things hide, that things creep up, that things create noise, um, all the nooks and crannies. So first thing is paper clutter. And I've already started this process and it's going to continue because there are different areas of our home where paper clutter will rest. I'm talking like end tables, my hope chest. I'm talking about our bills, the cabinets, the tax receipts, all the things that we hold on to for such a long period of time, some of which are not necessary to keep. So. There's paper clutter everywhere. We've got homeschool papers. I've got the papers that I wanna savor and treasure that are art that my kids have made for me. We've got letters and cards. Yes, I say birthday cards. So there's a lot of stuff in that process and there are a lot of different areas that that paper clutter will find its home in. So um, also journals. So I, I save all my journals. I am a journal mama. I am a note-taking mama. I journal regularly and all of those are things that are very sentimental to me and I will not be getting rid of those. I will not be decluttering artwork and different pieces my kids have given me because those are treasures. So I'm holding on to those but I'm talking about the things that we don't need, that we just save that we don't need. Magazines, homeschool magazines, curriculum magazines of all sorts, almost anything like that you can find online. So I don't necessarily need to flip through all of it. Um, just saying. The next thing is subscriptions. And by this, I mean, for example, subscriptions that get sent to you on a regular basis. So for instance, um, the Ipsy bag. I know this was super popular a couple years ago. They sent me a little goodie bag in the mail. I think it was like five or $6, something like that. And there were different pieces of makeup and facial cleansers and different beauty products that were included in this. This is something I am stopping. I stopped that bag quite a while back, but Billy razors. 
I have a subscription to Billy and they will send me facial cleansing wipes and razor cartridges and all this stuff long before I even need it. I could probably cancel that subscription or put that on hold for right now because not only is it taking up clutter and space in my home, but it's also taking up clutter in our finances. I don't need that right now. It's $10 a month, but I don't need it. It's $10 that could be saved and spent elsewhere. Um, and on note of that Ipsy subscription bag, I don't think I ever used or really loved a single product. I don't even know if I used anything that they sent me. It's a waste of money. They're just sending me junk and I'm not using any of it. In this journey to living a more simple life, getting rid of the things that are just adding to the clutter and the chaos, because that's exactly what that's doing. That's exactly what those subscriptions have done. They are not serving me right now. They're adding to the clutter and adding to the chaos. The next thing is online subscriptions. For instance, anything that you might be subscribed to online that you are no longer using. Um, I'm thinking work related. So there are different subscriptions I have for work, Adobe Creative Platforms, um, Instant Ink for my ink, my printer, subscriptions for our podcast, subscriptions for anything and everything that we pay a monthly subscription for. Go through your finances and look at those monthly subscriptions. This can even be on the front of TV programs like streaming programs, streaming platforms. This could be Disney, Hulu, um, different things you subscribe to on your phone. The different areas where you are forking money out and it's not serving you in your home anymore. So that those are just my examples, but there are things that many of us are subscribed to because everything is so electronic now and it's just automatically deducted from your account. And sometimes you don't even know what half of those are. And if you added them up, it is amazing how much money you could be saving every month by just getting rid of those subscriptions and those platforms that just come out automatically that half the time you're not even aware of. The next area I can definitely recommend decluttering that we have done is socks and undergarments. Area, I dropped my list. That was an absolute must for me was tank tops. I have so many tank tops, tank tops for different outfits and then workout tank tops. I have so many stinking tank tops and I don't know why I need that many. There's absolutely no reason to have like 20 tank tops in your wardrobe. Just saying, like speaking from experience. Your hand towels, your washcloths, your bath towels. Get rid of them. We're at a point in our life where we need to buy new bath towels. There are five of us in our home, so I'm going to buy five bath towels. Each of us will have a bath towel. They will get washed once a week. That's what this mama is doing. I'm ready for that. Bring it on. Uh, number seven and number eight, books for one. Any and every kind of book. Books you've read, books your kids have read, self-help books, homeschool books books in general, color books, all of it, okay? Number eight, crafts and craft supplies. So paints, popsicle sticks, pipe cleaners, straws, magnets, um, all of it. Whatever you may not be using, whatever is not serving your home and your family, get rid of it. It's just clutter, let it go. Games, I wanna talk about board games and card games. So as our kids were younger, we had games that we kept, like board games that we kept specifically for that age range, my boys are now older and playing totally different games. I'm sorry about the lawnmower in the background. This is real life happening. Number 10 is blankets. Now this one is a hard one for me because we are a camping, outdoorsy, have family over on occasion, definitely have extra blankets laying around. So it's time to get rid of some of those, take some up to the cabin, put some out in the camper so that they're there. Don't get rid of everything, but I can tell you for sure we have extra blankets. And I do want to note on this, um, when I'm talking about getting rid of blankets, you can bet I'm one of those mamas who has kept my boys baby blankets. So just gonna say, I'm not letting go of those. See guys, I'm not doing all of it. I'm gonna make this whole minimalist, simple lifestyle fit my home and my family. I am not following anybody else's rules. This is our journey. And that's why I think these videos are so encouraging, at least to me, because it's, it's your way. Like I can share with you what I'm doing and how I'm doing it and the things that are important to me to declutter and the things that are gathering space and air in my home, but that might not be the case for you. So that's why I think these are so beautiful. So yeah, I'm holding on to baby blankets and baby pictures and baby clothes and stuffed animals. Yeah, I've got those. They're in a very special safe place because they're sentimental to me and I'm not letting them go for the sake of space and air. They're treasures. Number 11, throw pillows and home decor. You could come to my house at any given point in time and I will have probably six or seven pillows thrown. I mean, here's three right here, thrown around my couch because I love a comfy, cozy, lush place. Instead of getting rid of the pillows that are worn out and nasty, I just hold on to them for a rainy day. Time to get rid of them, let them go. 
The next area that is a black hole to me is my purse. I am the world's worst at keeping my purse clean and free of trash and free of junk. I can rarely find anything. My debit card is usually in one of six pockets in my purse, but I never know which one. Um, wrappers everywhere, change in the bottom. It's just me. So my purse, my wallet, those are next on my list. That is one of the areas that I definitely recommend cleaning and keeping it simple, guys. It's so nice to reach in my purse and know right where my debit card is. Clean out your spice cabinet. Now, some people have spice racks, spice drawers, whatever. Clean out your spices, your seasonings, your barbecue seasonings, your rubs, clean them out. Along with that is your medicine cabinet. When I recently shared my kitchen declutter with you guys, I found some medicine that was from 2007. Like it was time to let some of that junk go. Some of it I didn't even know was up there because I couldn't see the top shelf. So number 15, your makeup bag. I have a makeup bag full of stuff and I use the same five products every day. Why do I have the rest? Just by some off chance that I might want to use it. Do I ever? No. Clean out your makeup bag. Get rid of all those little travel size samples that I was talking about, like from Ipsy or whatever. Let it go. Get rid of it. Clean out your makeup bag. Clean out your makeup drawer, your cabinets in your bathroom. Just let it go. Number 16 is for me specifically, and maybe you, I don't know, maybe you have a nightstand, maybe you do not. For me, it's my nightstand. My nightstand is a catch-all. It's got, I don't know how many journals in it, how many pins. I went through it the other day and I found probably 30 hair ties in my nightstand, right next to my bed, in my nightstand, just because it's a simple, convenient place that when I climb in bed, I take my hair out, throw my hair, like my hair tie in my nightstand and that's it. Hair ties, pictures, journals, books that I'm reading. It's just a simple one drawer nightstand, but I found so much stuff in that nightstand. Sometimes I'll even throw like important papers and stuff like that in there, which is not the best place to throw them, but it's just kind of a catch all. So clean out your nightstand, declutter that, throw the stuff away, get rid of all the crap and just keep it simple. So the last and final thing, area, space, for you to clean out in your life, living in a more simple space, to living more minimal, living on less, that minimalist vibe, right? would be home decor and holiday decor. This is a huge one for me because I'm very sentimental, especially with holiday decor and even home decor. Um, take this one and apply it to your life as it will, but I'm looking forward to getting out all of our Christmas stuff and just going through that and getting rid of the stuff that is not of value to me anymore. All the extras, all the things, all the foliage and the plants and the vines of stuff and the I can't even think of all the things because I'm not in the Christmas mindset yet, but that same goes with fall. Same goes with any season that you might decorate for in your home. And maybe it's totally your thing and that's fine. I'm not saying get rid of all of it. I don't need seven different wreaths for fall. I have one door and then maybe I might hang one in the house somewhere. I don't need seven of them. I don't have anywhere to hang seven of them. And I'm just saying that's an, and I'm just sharing that as an example. But when it comes to fall, like I haven't even decorated for fall yet. I don't even have anything out for fall because I'm in a different season, clearly, although it's fall or supposed to be fall. Um, I'll get there when I get there, but get rid of the extra stuff, the extra home decor, the extra candles, the extra signs, the extra word art. I just wanna share this example with you guys, kind of of where my heart is in this right now. In our living room, we have a round table that I've always loved. And it's right in the center of our couch, right in the center of where I'm sitting, and I've always loved it. It's beautiful, it's like totally, my jam, right? This round center table. I love it. It's like the black iron on the bottom and the beautiful wood on the top. I've loved it. We've had it for a year in our home. I recently decided after having company over that it almost felt like this center table, whatever you want to call it, was not like warm and inviting. It was almost closing off our sitting area because you had to try and like maneuver around one side or the other based on the way that our furniture is laid out. So I got rid of it. We're gonna take it up to the cabin and use it up there because I want my home when you walk in the door to feel warm and inviting and like, come sit, come sit on the couch, come get comfy and cozy. That is what I'm going for in this journey. So all of that engulfs every area and avenue of our home, pulling open a drawer, opening the pantry, opening the fridge, going in my bathroom and not having 25 bath towels that are all dingy. Like we need five, we need five bath towels, maybe six. Everyone can have their own bath towel 
We're gonna do laundry once a week, clean those bath towels once a week, maybe twice a week. Um, we don't need extra sheet sets, which we don't have. We don't need all these extra blankets in our home. We don't need all the extra things, all the extra pillows that are just stored in a closet in case you change your mind and want a different color, right? Like I don't need them. They've served our home, let's let go of them. That's what I have for you. Those are the 17 things that I am going to be decluttering to live a more simple life on our minimalist journey. So if this content is something that you find value in if you are encouraged in any way. I would love to hear from you in the comment section down below. Share your journey with me, maybe an unsuspecting place where clutter seems to find its home um, in your home. I would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for spending some of your precious time with me. I will see you in our next video. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.